everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's hobby based kit tutorial is this Z Fold card using the stamp set that we received and a few other bits and pieces from the July kit, which is themed under the sea. Um, so I've created this underwater little scene and it is gorgeous. I've really enjoyed making this one. It's got a really nice profile when it's um, stood up right. Um, loads and loads going on here. You've got the embossing folder that I used on the card that was in the kit and this card was already shiny so again the card looks like it's wet and you've got the bubble effect there. Then I have watercolored all the critters and fussy cut them and then I've covered them with glossy accents again to make them look like they are wet. And then the little um, oh gosh, uh, treasure chest which has sunk to the bottom of the sea there. I have used the Wow Salsa embossing powder just on the part where the jewels are. So now it, it really does sparkle and it's just a nice little extra that you see on the side piece there. And then I've got my little octopus on the front. He's nestled amongst the seaweed and it's a nice little birthday card. And then on the back it says let's celebrate and you can write your message. It's a 4x6 card so it's a really nice size. It's more compact and smaller than I'm, I usually do but I think it works really well with this little cute scene. So let me show you how to make it. Okay so you are going to need to choose your little creatures. I've cut all sorts out here um, from that stamp set which is this one here. That's what it looks like for the lover stamps. Under the Sea by Hunky Dory and it is lovely and I've already used it quite a lot so I just went and I haven't used the shark I don't know he's got a smiley face but I've just <laughs> I know sharks are lovely animals they're not all bad but I just feel he looks more sinister than the rest they all look really super happy so maybe I should give him a go I might add him in later we'll see so um, I have stamped them all and I have water um, watercolored them all and I have fussy cut them all and um, if you want to see how I do my watercolouring, I will share in a few other tutorials for you to see. But I've just kind of gone through and done that in my own time. And um, yeah, they're really cute. I really like those. Then we received this. This was a A5 sheet of card. Obviously, I've got some scraps that have gone in the bin now. But basically, I've cut that down. And it's going to be like the sea, sky kind of background. Um, for the main Z Fold um, card, you need a piece of 12 inch by 4 inch, okay? And that will give us that 6 by, sorry, 6 by 4 card base. So that, that's the size that will fit in your envelope. So what you want to do is, first of all, along the 12 inch side, score it 6 inches, okay? So, like so, and then you fold it in half, okay? Now, because you folded it obviously that way, when you do your next, so where was I? Why did I just do that? Yeah, so I just, just scored that way at six and folded it. So you do six inches that way, then flip it over and do three inches that way because that will stop your cracking because you're going to have that go that way. So I don't know, yeah, that go that way and then that's going to fold that way. Okay, just check I did do that right. Yeah. So you're going to fold, or you can do it three inches this way, then flip it over and do six inches that way. But either way, you need to do one or the other, just so that you won't get that cracking. So if you scored them both the same way, it will be, say for example, the three inch one, you would end up folding back against the score line that you made and it could, it could crack your card. Okay, so either way, do the three and flip and do the six, or do the six and then flip and do the three. But that is what you will have. There's your Z fold card. Okay, and then just burnish, um, just burnish that score line a little bit, and that one there, like so. Then these pieces are going to mat on each of these sections. So that one there this one and this one so you need a piece that is five and three quarters by three and three quarters and then two pieces that are two and three quarters by three and three quarters so I've just dropped them down by a quarter of an inch just so that we get that nice border on all of the sides now before we stick that down so let's pop all of these to one side get rid of my scoreboard we also received in the kit this embossing um, folder, which is by Crafts2U. 
bringing crafts to you. Yeah, crafts to you. www.crafts2u.com. Okay, so this is bubbles. So again, it looks like it's under the sea. And I just thought to bring some texture to the card, I'm going to emboss these pieces of card that I have here. So I'm just going to bring over my machine and I just need to set this up for embossing so do it that way so it's easier there we go so I've got my base plate and then I've got my card there that will sit perfectly just line it up in the middle just so you get those bubbles going all over it and then pop my top plate and run that through. Come back, you don't have to, but that way you just know you have got that perfect impression. And then, look at that, it looks so good. And because the card they sent us was shiny, that is given us, there you go, you can just see that shine. I think that looks absolutely awesome. That is gonna look so good on this card. Okay, so then I'm gonna pop through those. Okay, so I have been busy die cutting. I wanted a seabed um, and the stamp set does have a couple of stamps here, but I really didn't want to fussy cut those and I, I, I want loads, I want it really, really full. So I've just raided my own stash these are actually from a, a succulent stamp set, but succulents look so much like seaweed, <laughs> so it, it worked really, really well. Um, so I've just die cut loads of them. None of this is stuck down. I'm going to take it all away in a minute. But whenever I work, like let's start planning a scene, I like to lay it all out, and then I can kind of determine if I need anything else. So this is obviously going to be the front. Now I've got this. I've stamped this. Let's celebrate, which I think I'm going to have there on the on the front of the card i'm not entirely sure yet then i have um used this speech bubble die which is from um these are really handy it's the lawn fauna birdie told me um and i've used these a lot these speech bubbles are brilliant you can see another one and they face different ways so you've got some that face left some that face right um yeah really really handy and it comes with a really nice stamp set as well so anyway i've just done that one there so those and that and my own stash, everything else will be back to here. Now I have um, coloured in the little ch treasure chest there. Now what I'm going to do is I've got this, um, the WOW Salsa, which is what we received in the kit. And what I've thought about doing is grabbing my um, anti-static buddy, just go over it so we can get rid of any grease or any little areas that might be sticky that we can't see and then I have got now it doesn't matter if you don't have one of these I've got the Versa marker and these are brilliant they're great if you've got lovely handwriting I don't because you can do the brush writing and then you can sprinkle your embossing powder over and then you can heat set that and you'll have lovely wording but I use it for um, let me just get rid of some of that dust there for just adding tiny little details to, to die cuts. So I'm gonna use the, the finer nib here. And basically I'm just gonna cover this top area. It's kind of run a little bit because obviously this Versa mark isn't good with the stays on, but that's fine because you're not gonna see any of it. But I've just covered that whole area there. And then just grab some paper here and then let's sprinkle this over tip off the excess I know that does that looks really really good can you see it just looks like a whole mound of gemstones or diamonds that looks brilliant I'm really pleased with that so let me just tip this back in and I'll get that heat set okay so I hope this shows up it's come out really, really well. I'm so pleased. That looks brilliant. I think that looks so effective. So yeah, so there you go. So this is gonna look like, obviously it's fallen deep, deep, deep down into the ocean and it's gonna kind of pop up amongst the seaweed there at the bottom. So I've got all my little critters. The octopus is gonna be on the front. 
then that will fold over covering the have a splashing day so that then when you open it up that's what you will see and then obviously when it's stood up this is going to be the main kind of um, scene I've got the little crab coming out there like I said nothing's stuck down so I can keep moving it around and I've got the little starfish in there as well but I really like how this is coming together now so I'm going to use these little square foam um, adhesive squares that I've got here just to put everything and bring it lift it up a bit so it's got dimension again when you're working with a sea theme if you have them lifted it gives the illusion of them floating because it creates that shadow behind them so again it's another fun way see if I lift lifting up that whale like that you can see the shadow under here and it just looks like he's swimming around so I am going to go ahead now and get that all stuck down I'll speed it up but you can watch me the process of me putting this all together Okay, so I've stuck that down. Let me just take these all off, just so you can lift that up. You can see just how lifted off the pages there they are. So what you want to make sure is when you're getting to your corners here, make sure that they're not going to catch. So mine's okay, it's just matching there, and the same with that one, so it folds over. Just check that you're not going over. More so that one, because obviously they fold in, and I can see there they, they're okay. Just keep, you know looking up making sure you're happy that it's all where it needs to be so next I'm going to work with my little critters down in here down the bottom of the sea bags I want them kind of poking up because they kind of sit in there without even being stuck I will stick them down but of course um, you can just I think that looks quite good like that and then he is going to go down here and you can kind of have bits of them overlapping the seaweed which looks nice so I've got a little bit tucked behind there but then over the front in that on that piece and what I might do is also bring other bits up and put it behind further up there as well so I've got these four little bits left over there so again I'm going to carry on and just keep it on um, high speed just so you can see what I'm doing Okay, so I've spent ages just playing around with the sentiment. I had it mounted on some black background, but then I didn't like it. The Let's Celebrate, I just thought it was too big. The You're Fantastic, I just didn't like on the front. So I decided to stamp another starfish. He's my favourite. I think he's really cute, and he's down there. And he's going to overlap the front here. So again, I'm going to pop this on some uh, dimensional foam. And so the, the, I probably spent half it's half the time it's taken me to do the whole card just faffing about on the sentiment because it's on the front and it's kind of like the main, the first thing people see. So yeah, crazy I know. So let's pop that one there. And then this one again. This is very, very thick um, foam backing, which I believe I brought from a very inexpensive shop in the UK so but it's really thick so it really gives you that deep um, dimension that nice height so I'm going to have one of his little feet behind the sentiment 
like so. So if I just bring that up there, you can see now. I think that looks much more fun. And I've lifted up the um, octopus and I've put loads more seaweed behind him. So it looks like he's really kind of hidden in the, the seabed there. So I think that is looking really cool. And you've got that sparkle there from the treasure chest which is a nice little you know, thing to kind of see when you open it, you've got that there. So now also what I've done is on the back is I've cut a piece here and this measures at five and three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch. So before I stick that one down, this is the one where I'm gonna put um, it's your birthday on it. Actually I've changed my mind, instead I'm gonna have let's celebrate. So just ink that one up, pop that in the middle. Is that right? There we go. Already put some double sided tape there on the back, so I'm just going to get that stuck down. Okay, so I've stuck that down on the back there. And then as I was going through, just kind of looking at if there's anything more I can add to it, because it's an underwater theme, can you see now everything is shiny? I've just added glossy accents over all the little critters. So you've got the sparkle in the treasure chest. We've got the shimmer, or the shine even, on the um, all the little critters there. So I'm just going to finish my big whale. I've left them till last. So this is just using the Ranger Glossy Accents. It's brilliant to have. You can use it as an adhesive as well, but it's perfect for just, especially if you're working with underwater themes or the sea, this just really does. You only need a very thin amount and just kind of just go over your image. See, this is bigger than I would usually do. You want to make sure it completely covers and creates a nice kind of seal over the top and it will all kind of fall into place. I'm just going to carry on and get him covered. Okay, there is my finished card. So you can see my whale there. You don't want to go too thick with it because otherwise it will start to look quite cloudy, although it will eventually dry clear. If there is too much on, you still won't get a real crisp clearness, but that is just, in any, if anything, it's actually highlighted the colour even more made it more vibrant so yeah there you have it so there's loads to that card if, you know it's just, I always say if you it, oh, I'm losing my words there but it, you know you can have you know stamp an image and stick it down and stuff but you know by just putting it on some foam adding this kind of uh, this clear cover that completely transforms it putting the glitter on the the little um, treasure chest there you know there are ways to really get the most out of your stamps and I'm I'm hoping that I've showed you quite a few ways there so that is my Z fold card using the um, some of the supplies from the July hobby base kit if you are interested in signing up for the kit you've got until the 21st of August to receive September's kit so I will send I will send I will pop all those links in the video description below and it will also be on my blog and I will be back again next week with another hobby base tutorial <laughs> I'll get my words right today see you then bye